Do you get back pain during the leg press and you're tired of pain ruining your workouts? In this video, I'm gonna show you why the leg press flares up your lower back, how to correct your form, how to improve your form, and different variations of the leg press so you can get back to lifting weights and avoid low back pain. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Dr. Grant Elliott, founder of Rehab Fix, and we've helped thousands of people around the world fully recover from low back pain, disc herniation, and sciatica. And in this episode, number 151 of the Low Back Pain Podcast, I'm gonna show you how you can finally get back to leg press pain-free. Real quick, if you have not joined my private Facebook group yet, you need to do so. It is called Rehab Fix Low Back Program. And immediately upon joining, you will receive our free step-by-step -step Sadica guide. This is the same process that we have taken thousands of our clients through around the world to identify exactly how to fix their sciatica and ultimately become pain-free through our one-on-one coaching program. In this group, you will be able to see our clients and what they're doing for success and additional resources and more free guides. So if you're serious about fixing your back, you need to join this group, Rehab Fix Low Back Program. See you soon. So let's get right into it. Why does the leg press cause you back pain or has the potential to flare up your lower back? Good question. The reason why is because many individuals with back pain have what's called a flexion intolerant type of lower back pain. Flexion intolerant means flexing the spine or bending forward of the spine aggravates it. It is not tolerant to this. And for a majority of you, this will present as sitting long periods being uncomfortable, bending over being uncomfortable, bending over to put socks and shoes on in the morning is uncomfortable. Or maybe when you sit long periods and you go to stand up, you feel really tight standing up straight. These are classic signs of flexion and tolerant lower back pain. And so now what does this have to do with the leg press? Here's what it has to do is if you are someone that wants to build a, you know, do the leg press or other squatting variations and you find that, you know, squatting variations or leg press variations are flaring you up. It's because at the lower portion of the movement, what's occurring is your lower back is winking. They call it the butt wink into a flexed position. And remember, if you have flexion intolerant lower back pain, Flexion can increase this pain and make it worse. So at the bottom of that movement, you are flexing the lower back and this is putting more pressure on those sensitive tissues and is increasing pressure on the discs as well. This will be an uncomfortable position for many individuals with painful discs as that pressure on the disc increases with weight and in a flexed position. Now, why do you end up in a flexed position during a leg press? Two reasons, inadequate hip mobility, or too much depth. What I mean here is most anyone who goes too deep on the leg press will notice that their butt will start to rise off the pad, they'll go into flexion, and this can cause pain or discomfort. This is either because the shape of your hips does not allow you to go to that certain depth. Remember, the ability to get down and not crash into this flex position is gonna have to do with your mobility. So if your hips are shaped a certain way that allow that, then great, you might be able to go really deep without finding yourself crashing into this flex position. But if your hips are designed a certain way, you might just not be able to get a certain depth without your lower back beginning to compensate. Because if your hips don't move, if the, if the femur is not able to continue to travel, then you're going to have to move through the next joint and that is going to be the low back. Now, also, you might just have really restricted hips, and if you improve your hip mobility, then you might be able to get into a greater depth while you're performing the leg press. That is also some uh, movements that I'm going to show you today to show you how to improve that. But this is why the leg press can flare you up, because you're going into this flexed position with weight. You have flexion intolerant lower back pain, most likely. It does not like this, and the reasons for that is because either the shape of your hips does not allow you to go to that depth, or you have inadequate hip mobility that allows you to go to that depth. So what can you do about this? Hey, real quick, if you're watching this video and you're resonating with the things that I'm saying and you're ready to be pain-free, just click the link below and you can schedule a call personally with my team so we can meet with you, go over your current situation and figure out what you're missing and help you develop a game plan so that you can finally become pain-free. This is for serious people only, so click the link if you are ready to go. Back to the show. First, you need to become aware like you just did. You need to be aware that going too deep is flexing you and that is what is causing the trigger. Not too deep. So here is how we can correct your form to reduce that excess pressure. If the issue is that you are going too deep and that is causing your butt to 
curl and lift off the pad and go into this flex position. There's two things we wanna to do to correct your form, two things. Two things. We want to push our sacrum, right? The, the big fused bone at the bottom of our spine. We wanna push our sacrum back into the pad. We wanna keep that flat against the pad because if we keep that flat against the pad the whole time, this is going to help us avoid curling it under us and crashing into this flexed position. It'll help us maintain a neutral spine, a flat spine against the pad behind us. So push your sacrum. Some people will call it your tailbone region. Push that into the pad that your back is on to keep your entire spine in contact with the pad. Secondly, do not allow your knees to bend back to a certain depth. If you're noticing that there's a certain depth that you can hit, to where then you run out of the range of motion on your hips and you start to curl the lower back, stop at that depth. Don't go deeper than that. This will help you avoid that potentially dangerous place, at least dangerous currently, that could cause the flare-up to occur. So stop at that depth so that you can maintain a neutral spine without flexing the lower back and you can feel comfortable and safe in this range. That feels right. So that is how we can just modify your form to ensure that we feel better doing this. But how can we maintain good depth by improving the form? Good question. Well, we can work on our hip mobility to better achieve this as well as ankle mobility. One of the best hip movements that you can do, just one simple one that is still very difficult, that's gonna improve your hip range of motion immensely, is our 90-90 transitions. You're going to sit on the ground. Your front leg is going to have a 90 degree angle at the knee and at the groin, and your rear leg is going to have a 90 degree angle at the groin and at the knee as well. That's why it's called the 90-90 position. We're going to rotate and transition back and forth through this position by raising the rear knee first, lifting that knee up, following through, sitting in a wide spread position and then allowing ourselves to continue to the other side. So it looks like you're rotating back and forth like a windshield wiper. This is going to significantly improve your hip range of motion so that if your hip is the limiting factor that's causing you to go into that butt wink or flex position, we can enhance the hip range of motion so we can get deeper until we hit that max limit. Push it, push it. Now we also want to improve our ankle mobility because this can affect our depth as well. One easy exercise I really like is to grab the ankle or both that you wish to improve, put it up on a step, put a kettlebell or another weight onto your knee and drive that knee forward, inside and outside repetitively. So three different directions, forward and in, forward and straight, forward and out repeating back and forth to mobilize that ankle into dorsiflexion so that when you're at the bottom of that leg press position, if you have adequate ankle mobility, it will help you achieve better depth prior to looking for other areas to compensate. This will help improve your form and maintain better form throughout the exercise. And lastly, if none of these things are working for you, what are different modifications or variations of the leg press that you can perform that will likely agree with you more? One thing we found is that if you really like this exercise or once again, other squat variations, but we just don't have the adequate ankle mobility or hip mobility, or we're having a difficult time keeping our lower back flat and we consistently flare up, but you still want to get a good workout in is simply turning it from a double leg leg press to a single leg leg press. When both feet are on the leg press, your chances are higher of going too deep and the pelvis tucking under you and getting into a flexed position, which could be irritating on your lower back. But if you only have one leg up and the other leg is down, this helps hold your pelvis and your lower back in a more neutral position the entire time. It is extremely difficult to then flex if you go too deep and to find yourself in this type of compromised position. So doing one leg at a time will help ensure that your pelvis and your lower back stay in a neutral place, stay in a happier place so that you can still go really hard with one leg at a time and you significantly reduce the risk of putting unwanted pressure on your lower back or those unwanted flare-ups after a good training session. These are the best ways to improve and modify your leg press so that you can get back under some weight and strengthen your legs without the risk of flaring up your lower back or making any back pain worse. And I want you to be in the gym 
exercising to the best of your ability. So many people we talk to every single week, their number one goal is to just get back into the gym and to just have a good workout again, where they're not always concerned about their back or avoiding certain exercises or avoiding certain stretches or movements in fear of making their back pain worse, but they want to continue living an active lifestyle. It is not fun or enjoyable at all if you're always modifying and so weary and concerned about everything you're doing in the gym. That is not a fun workout and that is not a good workout. Lame-o. All of the clients that come to us were typically told, oh, stop working out, stop squatting, stop deadlifting, stop leg press, stop doing all these things. We say the exact opposite here at Rehab Fix. We tell you that our job is to get you back to those things as quickly as possible because you should be able to work out to the degree that you want. You should be able to run, squat, leg press, deadlift. You should be able to do all of these things. It is not true recovery if you're just living your life avoiding everything. True recovery is being able to do whatever you want to do pain-free. It is our job to help you do that. We get all of our clients back into the gym or back into the activity that they desire. And I want you to have the freedom and the ability and the plan to get you there too. So we would be honored to show you that path and exactly what that looks like for you by actually meeting with you, booking a call so that we can go over your situation, wherever you're at in the world, we have clients all over the world so we can learn exactly where you're at, what your struggle is, and design the plan that's going to be best for you so we can guide you from where you're at to where you want to be and ensure that you get back to the life that you want to live because you only have one life and you deserve to have it pain-free and you can live with it pain-free and you don't have to stay in the current situation that you're in. So book a call. We would love to meet with you and figure out how to get you the plan that you and your family deserves. Once again, be sure to join my Facebook group, Rehab Fix Low Back Program, so you can get additional exclusive content and our free Sataka guide immediately upon joining. If you are watching this on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you are listening on your favorite podcast platform, please leave a five-star rating and review so we can grow this podcast and help reach more individuals who deserve to get results, who feel like they're spinning their tires and getting frustrated in doing so. As always, move more, move in nature, move in the sun. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.